Pugs getting married, beautiful bichons, and even the odd patriotic pet. Both owner and dog were out to impress at the Westminster Dog of the Year competition. There were some experienced hounds going barking mad for victory and some novice no-hopers. It's our first time of entering. Um, Indy's not very well trained, so I'm not sure she's going to be able to compete with some of the more obedient dogs, but uh, it's all about... <laughs> Well, Snowy is a beginner. This is his first contest, so inevitably I suspect that the prize will go to a rather more experienced dog. But I think Snowy is relishing the fight, um, and if Snowy manages to get placed this year, who knows what could happen next year, the sky's the limit. 21 dogs were in the running for the top prize, but it's fair to say some had an absolute howler. Oh. Their owners were all members of Parliament, and some had even rented a dog for the day to take part. Some MPs don't actually have their own dogs, but love dogs, so we've um, offered them some Dogs Trust rescue dogs. In its 22nd year, Westminster Dog of the Year is run by the Dogs Trust and the Kennel Club, two charities helping to protect and promote the welfare of dogs. The eventual winner was Diesel, a German Shepherd owned by Labour MP Rob Flello, who voiced his support for the competition. I think this event is incredibly important because anything that draws attention to the fact that in this country we have thousands upon thousands of uh, dogs that have uh, in need of a home that are uh, basically abandoned or uh, have been uh, rescued from things like puppy farms, I think anything that draws attention to that draws attention to the fact that these are people's best friends uh, and they're not just simple commodities, they're not just simple things to be bought and sold and discarded. Those canines not on the podium shouldn't be too downbeat. The competition will be back in Westminster next year. And, as the old saying goes, every dog has its day.